Hey, this is Pat Flynn from smartpassiveincome.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Facebook landing page for your new Facebook page in the timeline setup. Yes, Facebook got rid of the default landing tab, which means anyone who finds you through search or through a direct link to your username will land directly on your wall and see your cover art. You can't create a page that will intercept that, but there is a workaround to get people to land on a specific page first, which can be used to show whatever it is you like, preferably some sort of introduction to who you are and a call to action to like your page and become a fan. So here's how it works. We're going to first create an HTML page on Facebook using a specific application, which I'll show you how to get in a minute. Second, we're going to customize that page and I'll show you the easy way to do it if you don't have HTML experience. Third, I'll show you how to find the direct link to that specific page or application. And then finally, a few methods to help promote that specific link so that you can get people to land on that page first. So let's get right to it. First, let's grab the application that we're going to use to insert an HTML page onto our Facebook page. At the top of Facebook in the search bar, I'm going to type in static HTML and you'll see a number of apps come up. The one we're looking for is the iframe tabs application with the star as the logo. And there's a number of similar ones, which are actually from the same developer. And so if you ever in the future want to add another HTML page on your Facebook page, you can use the second tab and the third tab and the fourth tab, etc. That's how you create multiple pages. But let's continue with the regular static HTML iframes tab and then click on add static HTML to a page. What I like about this particular app, and there are several similar ones out there, is that this one doesn't ask for permissions to use. So you don't need to hand over your email address or any personal information in order to use it, which is nice. So on the next screen, select a page you want to install this application on. Smart Passive Income with Pat Flynn. And then it'll ask you to confirm, so go ahead and do that. And then you'll be redirected back to your page. From here, it might not look like anything has changed, especially if you have some existing apps installed already. All you have to do is expand the apps here on the right-hand side by clicking this little triangle, and then you'll see the welcome application with the star thumbnail installed. Before we get to the HTML, let me show you how easy it is to change the thumbnail of that particular application if you want to. So the thumbnail size is 111 pixels wide, by 74 pixels tall. And I already have one created in Photoshop, a simple one, which I'll upload for you right now. Just hover, the, uh, hover over the application, click on the little pencil on the top right-hand corner, and then Edit Settings. Click on Change next to the Custom tab image, and a new window opens up. Change the icon there. So I'm gonna click on Change, Choose File, and I have one here. After you upload that image, close this window, uh, come back here and reload the page, and you should see when you expand the apps, there you go, the thumbnail has changed. Now, same thing, if you want to change the name of the application, you just do the same thing. Click on that little pencil, click on Edit Settings, and then I can change this to Like, for example. And click OK, boom, changed. Now to edit this page, click on the application itself, and when you're logged in as the admin, you will see the settings area like you see here. Here you'll see two fields, one for content at the top and one for fan-only content at the bottom. This is where you're going to enter your HTML code to show whatever it is you want to show. If you choose to enter content in the fan-only content area at the bottom, that means that if people have already liked your page, that is what they're going to see every time they click on that app on your wall or go to that specific link to that app, which is like I said earlier, what you're going to use to promote your Facebook landing page. If someone comes to your HTML page here and is not a fan, they will see the non-fan version when they click on like, which is located in the upper right-hand corner of the page, they will be automatically redirected to the fans only page. So that's a great way to incentivize people to click like if you want, something you can't do on your cover art image. Note that, however, people will not be redirected automatically back to your wall. So on your fan only content, you should somewhere place a button or a link back to your wall if you want to, which can be done with your regular Facebook page URL. 
And lastly, if you don't have any fan-only content, if you don't enter anything down here at the bottom, both fans and non-fans will see the regular content area, the top portion of the HTML here. So it's smart to put some fan-only content there so that when uh, people click like in the upper right-hand corner, at least something happens when they, you know, and they don't just see the exact same page. For an example of what this looks like, because it's sort of hard to see if it's working on your own page because the settings page keeps coming up, uh, you'd either have to log out or use another person's account to really see what the experience is like after you have this set up. Let's find uh, Coca-Cola's Facebook page, which I know I haven't liked yet. So up in the search bar, I'm gonna click and find Coca-Cola. So here we are at Coca-Cola's timeline. Great branding, makes you wanna drink a Coke. And uh, let's click on home. I don't have a direct link to this, so it's not a landing page for me, but if they link to this directly, it could be a landing page for them if they wanted it to be. So since I'm not a fan, I see the like button here in the upper right-hand corner and an arrow with a call to action to like the page. So let's go ahead and do that and see what happens. So now I see that the arrow has disappeared. I'm on the fan only page. The like has turned into liked and now there's a call to action to share the page, which is a great idea, plus a lot of other stuff going on here below. So let's go back to our welcome settings page and set up our content and fan only content. So I'll just go directly there. I'll probably add some fancier stuff later and create some videos about how to do that in the future. So please subscribe to the channel to get that. But for now, I'll do the quick and dirty version, which is a lot easier than coding a whole bunch of HTML. I'm going to insert images instead. The images should be a maximum of 810 pixels wide and however tall you want them to be. I have a couple of images here that are 810 pixels wide and 500 pixels tall. Simple designs that I created just for this tutorial using my camera, and you'll see them in a second. So if you're watching this in the future, it might be different at this point. But again, the idea here is that you can cheat and use an image instead. So you only really need to know one piece of code, and that's the HTML code to insert an image on the screen. So I'll get to that in a second. The first thing you have to do is upload the images onto a server somewhere. So once you have the images designed 810 pixels wide by however tall you want, you have to place them on a server somewhere so you can get the URL for them later, which is what we're gonna put in here. So if you have a site and you are familiar with FTP, you can do it through there and just remember the URL path. If you have a WordPress site and you don't know FTP, you can use the media upload feature in WordPress and just grab the link uh, from the file there, which works. Or if you don't have a website at all, you'll have to place it somewhere, like on a site that you can upload images to, for example, pinterest.com. All you have to do and all you really need is to grab the HTML link for that image and it must end in .jpg or .png. If the URL for that image doesn't end in .jpg or .png, it's not going to work. In my content area, I'm gonna put the first image. So I'm going to actually paste that image, which is on my server on my website here, just like that. Now we're not done yet. We still need to add the HTML code in front and behind the link, which tells the browser to pull up that as an image. So it actually looks like this. So that goes on the front and this goes on the back. And the same thing for the fan only content. So I'm gonna paste that, which is content-image2.jpg and the same code on the front and the back. Now, don't worry if you can't remember this, you can go to smartpassiveincome.com slash timeline, and in that post, you'll see this video, and right below that video, there's a couple of boxes where you can snag the codes that you can use and just replace uh, my image URL with your own. Now, because my fan-only content has a button, uh, a call to action to click a link on it, I'm actually going to cheat and make the entire image clickable. So to do that, I have to add the HTML code in front and the back of this image HTML. So that looks like this. And again, you don't have to memorize this. If you go to smartpassiveincome.com slash timeline, you can pull up this code and just copy and paste it into your own uh, content box.
So that goes in the front. This tells it that when they click on that image, they're going to go to facebook.com slash smart passive income. Whoops, that dot com shouldn't be there. And then at the end, I have to just close it with that. So again, smartpassiveincome.com slash timeline, you can get all that code there and just replace my stuff with your own. Now I can scroll up to the top and save changes, make sure you do that. And then I can preview this to show you what it looks like. Here's a picture of me. This is the, if you kind of hover over here at the top, it says public, which means everybody sees this. Um, and then there's one here for fans, which is just for fans. So you know, when people click on like, they'll see me throw a thumbs up, it says, thanks you rock. And then it says, click here to say hello. Okay, now the important part. We need to grab the direct link to that application so that we can promote using that link and work around this whole no default landing tab issue. So we're gonna get a link that takes people directly to this image that you see here. If there are already a fan, uh, they would see this, but typically we're gonna be promoting this to people who are not fans, so they would see this, have an incentive or a call to action to click like, which is up here in the upper right-hand corner. So to actually get that link to this specific application, I'm gonna go back to my homepage here or to my wall. I'm going to expand the applications and I'm going to go down to my welcome tab, click on this pencil, click on link to this tab. And this will open up a direct link that'll always take people to your content that we just put up there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy this and put it in a clipboard so I can come back to it in a second. Now, this link is pretty ugly and you can use a URL shortener like Bitly or your own or maybe Google's to keep track of this, but those links aren't always that pretty either. So I have a couple of tips for you to help you promote this link and to get people to go to your landing page, which is a lot easier than going through a URL shortener or just trying to say this one or memorize this one. So the first thing you could do is if you are on a WordPress site, you can download a plugin called Pretty Link. Let me take you to Pretty Link right now. You can download this through the plugin directory in WordPress. The free light version will work for this, although you can upgrade if you wish. And I'm going to click on add a pretty, pretty link. In my target or destination URL, I'm going to paste our Facebook tab uh, link that we just got. And under pretty link, I'm going to basically just add a custom URL, any anything I want it to be, which can just be one word after your domain name, which is nice, which is why this is called pretty link. So I can put, smartpassiveincome.com slash Facebook or anything else, uh, maybe, you know, whatever. It's up to you. And the nice thing is that if that link ever changes, you can come back, open up this pretty link and update this target URL. And wherever that link was published, smartpassiveincome.com slash Facebook or whatever, those links will still be valid and go through the new target URL. And the really cool thing is that this plugin keeps track of the links and how many clicks they get and you can reset them, which is awesome. Now, if you wanted to take this one step further, or if you don't have a WordPress site, you can buy a domain like I did with Pat on Facebook.com. And I haven't set this up yet, but if actually, if I go to Pat on Facebook.com, that redirects to my Facebook page. I'm, I'm gonna have it set up so it redirects to my landing page. You can have that all set up, get a domain name, have it forward to a landing page, and boom, you have an instant landing page. So you can promote Pat on Facebook.com or whatever your custom URL may be, which of course costs a small fee per year, like 10 bucks a, mo uh, 10 bucks a year uh, or less, depending on what domain service you use. But for me, it's completely worth it. Pat on Facebook.com is much easier to say and memorize. So I can mention that on any podcast episodes, YouTube videos like this one on Twitter and interviews and even guest posts. And uh, there you go. So that's how you get a landing page with your Facebook timeline setup. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you found it helpful, please subscribe to the channel. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Head on over to smartpassiveincome.com slash timeline for a collection of even more Facebook timeline videos to help you in your online business or blog. See you and thanks again.